Flux proof of useful work is coming to Hive OS. I cannot believe it. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, this past week, the Flux team dropped a teaser that Flux proof of useful work was coming to Hive OS. Let's check out that teaser. So what does this mean for your traditional GPU miner? Well, I'm gonna be honest. It means more profits. Let's talk about it. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at metaminer.ai. With cryptocurrency prices beginning to rise, right now is the best time to snag that ASIC miner you always wanted. Metaminer has stock in some of my favorite Bitcoin, Caspa, Cadena, and Script ASIC miners for super reasonable and competitive prices. Right now, I have my eyes on the S19K Pro, the Jazzminer X16Q, and the Ice River KS1 from Metaminer. Interested in bulk order to fill out your mining farm? Metaminer has you covered. A huge benefit that I like about Metaminer is that they accept a wide variety of cryptocurrency as payment, perfect for us miners. Finally, connect with Metaminer on social media. They are on all major platforms like WeChat, WhatsApp, Telegram, and Twitter. Go check out metaminer.ai today via the link in the video description down below and tell them the hobbyist miner sent you. So what is proof of useful work? Well, let's summarize it in about 60 seconds. Well, proof of useful work is utilizing your compute and your resources to do something like a bigger project. Let's say it's rendering or AI compute or something crazy out of this world that even I can't comprehend. That type of function needs GPU miners. It needs compute, it needs horsepower. So let's jump ahead. Your GPU mining rig is mining a lithium and you've opted in to proof of useful work. When your rig is needed for a project and you've opted in to be part of the Flux Proof of Useful Work Network, your rig will stop mining a lithium, will pivot over to this project for flux proof of useful work and could be on it for a minute, an hour, a day, a month. And when it returns back and it's finished its job and it's returned back to mining a lithium, you as the miner get paid out in flux. Now they're saying flux proof of useful work will be paying 10 times what you would have if you were mining flux originally, hence the profitability. So I feel like Flux Proof Useful Work has been talked about for years. Well, it's been in development for years, but I feel like it's been more public within the last two years or so, especially during the bear market. I had the opportunity to see it more firsthand at Cypherpunk 2023, and then I got my hands on Flux Core in January of 2024. And Flux Core ended up being a operating system for anything and everything mining, as well as Flux nodes, as well as Flux proof of useful work. And I'll be honest, I tried it out back in January with a rig that I kind of threw together. Some of you guys enjoyed the video of us doing that with a 3080 and it was okay. Flux core was all right. It was cool. Visualizations looked good. It had some really cool features. It was lacking some functionality. Now granted, this was early, early on back in December, January time period. And it just, I'll be honest, it really didn't excite me much about Flux Proof Useful Work anymore. I was like, yeah, okay, but I don't want to move my rigs off of Hive OS. I mean, do you guys blame me? I really just wanted to stay with what I have and actually have an opportunity to participate. So I kind of lost interest and I kind of moved on from there. And I think a lot of that interest also came down to the fact that the rig that I had built just even though it was like a 3080 with 128 gigabytes of memory, and I went with a Xeon processor, uh, something beefier, it didn't stack up against some of these rigs that jumped to the leaderboard that were five card 4090s with epic processors and a bazillion gigabytes of memory. And it was like, man, I don't stand a chance with this. Eh, I'm just kind of gonna see what else is going on. and. You know, it seems like Flux Proof of Useful Work has been quiet for quite some time. So let's jump to today. So we had the Flux team announce that Flux Proof of Useful Work would be coming to Hive OS. Like, dang, first thoughts were like, this is fantastic. It means I don't have to go to Flux Core, which as I said, Flux Core wasn't terrible. 
However, I live and breathe in Hive OS with my ASICs, with my GPUs. And so I was thrilled to hear this. So I ended up reaching out to the Hive OS team and they confirmed that this is absolutely happening and that it is in current active development. So I was thrilled. But you also have to think about the fact of like, you know, I hold a decent amount of Flux. I've been mining Flux for several years now. So what does this mean for like the Flux project? Well, Hive OS has something like 2 million workers. So that means that if you had like 2 million workers and every worker had eight GPUs, let's just say on average, you're about 16 million GPUs available on the Hive OS platform. That's insane for this Flux Proof Use Work project. That means they're going to have so many graphics cards and rigs available to participate in Flux Proof Use for Work. Like, fantastic. That means the project can take off. We might see some price, even more price discovery. I think last I looked, Flux was at like $1.30. I have been absolutely thrilled about this. So, what is this going to look like in Hive OS? All right, so let's jump into my Hive OS here. And I'm gonna to go to my GPU shed and we're gonna take a look. I have a variety of different GPUs here. So let's let's pick one that isn't anything crazy. Let's go with my Ente rig. And that is in an Octominer case. And we have a total here of eight 6600 XTs. They're currently on the Kapow algorithm and we're mining Neoxa. Where are my Neoxa fans at? So let's say this is my rig that I want to opt in to Flux Proof Useful Work. Well, what's that going to look like moving forward? Well, right now, if you go to your flight sheet, your flight sheet is really what's controlling everything that happens with your miner. That's where you're controlling what addresses it, it's mining for, that's what, what pool it's mining to, and what miner you're using. So here is some of the things that I have heard. I have heard that on the actual flight sheet page, there will be a toggle button. So this is 100% a quick little mock-up that I made that isn't a screenshot that anybody provided, but based off conversations, they are talking about a one-click toggle button on your Hive OS rigs on the flight sheet in order to participate in Flux Proof Useful Work. So here is my mock-up. So here is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking there's gonna be some type of button here on our flight sheet that says Flux Proof Useful Work Activated. And there's a little button that you click that says Enable. And then it's enabled and it's up and running. And based off of everything I've heard, you'll connect a Flux address, like you'll just connect it. You know, like in Hive OS, you have a, a different wallets. You would just have your Flux wallet. So when you activate this button, it asks you what wallet you wanna connect with and it connects with your Flux wallet and bam, you're done. So I've rambled on for a while. Hopefully you've learned something about Flux Proof Useful Work. Hopefully you're excited as I am because man, I don't see why you wouldn't do this. If there is that much value in Flux Proof Useful Work with all these customers coming in, all these projects coming in and wanting to use the entire platform to do all of these jobs and you can make significantly more crypto from your rigs when they're needed, I'm all for it. I can keep mining the things I want to mine. And when it needs to, it pivots off and goes ahead, does the job, comes back and I get paid. I think it's awesome. So I'll keep you guys updated as time goes on, as I learn more from the Hive team, as I learn more from the Flux team. Let me know your thoughts directly down below on Flux Proof Useful Work coming to Hive OS. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at hashvortex.eu. Let me introduce you to Hash Vortex, your go-to shop for top quality ASIC cooling and silencing solutions. Hash Vortex specializes in helping fellow ASIC miners convert their noisy ASICs like Bitmain and Ice Rivers into cool and silent money printing machines. In addition, Hash Vortex doesn't cut corners on quality. They use high temperature resistant polymers to ensure durability against the power and heat of modern day ASICs. Finally, every dollar counts as a home crypto miner and Hash Vortex totally understands. So their pricing easily beats out the competition. Put it to the test. Hashvortex.eu accepts Bitcoin and all major credit cards shipping worldwide. 
head on over to hashvortex.eu and use checkout discount code hobbyist to save 10% on your entire order.